this is your financial bestie treats with another tipsy thursday where i will attempt to provide you with financial strategies and solutions that's going to help you protect and or grow your money so one thing about y'all financial bestie i am a nerd at heart like i for real for real love to read and that's like one of the things i like to do in my pastime but i don't like to read like fictional books novels zane none of that stuff mm -hmm. I have like a real deal library <laughs> full of like, I like all those self-help books. Like I'm always trying to figure out how I can grow, how I can elevate to another level. I love learning new stuff. Like I really get excited about learning new stuff. So I am going to show y'all today six of my all-time favorite books that I feel that has helped me get to this level that I am right now. Um, there is not gonna be any particular order that I'm going to share, except for one. The first one I'm gonna talk about is gonna be my all-time favorite. Y'all probably already know what that is. But these books are like amazing. I learned so much. Like they really gave me like some aha moments. And I feel like when you read, when you indulge um, in a book, you want to be able to grow, take something from it that's going to be life changing. And I feel like each and every one of these books that I'm going to show you all today is going to be life changing. Also, inside of the newsletter, you will be able to click on, I will have each book in the newsletter. You'll be able to click on it and be able to order your own copy of each book that I talk about today. So, y'all ready? Drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> the first book, um, of course, is my book, Grow a Senior Purse, Women Empower Financially Prepared. So not just because it's my book, um, I really, really feel like probably many of these books that I'm going to share with you all, I pretty much wrapped it up in this book as a girlfriend's guide. Guys, you can read it too. It got some good nuggets in here for you as well. Just change the word girl to guy and you'll be able to apply all of the knowledge as far as it pertains to finance. Like I'm really giving the game in here on how you can protect and grow your money. Like the stuff that they did not tell you and I break it down in a way that it's easy to read, easy to digest, easy to understand easy to apply and to customize to your life so number one let's grow what's in your purse women empowered financially prepared by me yours truly your financial bestie so make sure you check that out it is in the newsletter you'll be able to click on the hyperlink in order to get your copy the next the next five because it's six total but the next five no particular order is just the order that i'm going to grab them this one right here is Back to Basic Investing by Eric Tyson. This little, little book, <laughs> it is like a dope investing book. It talks about everything from stocks, bonds, ETF, mutual funds. It's back to the basic. And when I started studying this book a while ago, it really gave me my foundation on investing. And I just feel like it is so, so, so dope. So if you're trying to get in an investing game, if you're already in the investing game and you want to get back to the basics, get some foundation, understand your purpose for investing, this right here, this right here, no, <laughs> it's your book, your go-to. Oh my God, this next one, y'all, changed my life. I quote um, Stephen Covey a lot. This book is old, old. I've had this book for so, so long. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. This right here is just going to help you overall in life, in your finances, in your business life. This is truly one of the best books I've ever read. I truly, you need this. This right here will change your life on how to truly elevate in every area of your life. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. My next book is The Wealthy Barber. I read this book in college. I also read The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People in college. So you can imagine how long ago it's been since I read these books. But I read this book 
in college. And this right here is really got me to thinking how to become independent, independently wealthy. Like, he breaks it down. Honestly, I want to tell you, you know, to be totally transparent, the wealthy barber is pretty much the male version of Girl with Single Purse. Like, he's a barber that became independently wealthy based on financial tips and knowledge and things like that. And dope. His name is David Chilton. I think that's how you say it. The Wealthy Barber. Great read. Love it, love it, love it. <clears throat> My next book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Y'all know I'm an investor, right? I invest in real estate as well. This is why I got into real estate investing. This book right here. Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. This changed my life. Like, if you have not read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, you are definitely doing yourself a disservice. Like, when I read this book, this is what got me to knowing that wealth is based upon investing in some type of real estate. If you do not own real estate, I'm not gonna say you're not gonna be able to have wealth, but it's going to be a slim chance that you will not experience true wealth. You need to own real estate. And this was the book that taught me the game of real estate, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Last and definitely not least, definitely not least, like this is one of my favorite, favorite books. This is for the business owners. This is this book that I'm about to show you right now. She's my marketing coach, my, um, launch strategist it's called unclone by audrea richman she's out of atlanta georgia so girl with senior purse she really helped mold my marketing plan my marketing strategy that i use when i'm launching products when i'm reinventing things like this is a true marketing guy so if you are a business person and you want to learn how to market yourself market your product, put together a whole marketing plan. I follow these concepts religiously. Like, this is for the business people. I had to make sure I put a business um, book in here. And this right here, like, yes, you want to get uncloned by RJ Richmond. So that is my tipsy Thursday for this um, week. I wanted to share with you all the books that I've read, I feel like that has had a profound impact on my life that kind of have shaped and allowed me to grow into this financial peace that I'm in, this, this level of elevation in my money and in my finances. And these are the books that helped me. So, Uncloned by Audrey Richmond, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, the Wealthy Barber by David Chilton. <laughs> Girl was in your purse by your financial bestie, Latrice Goodwine. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by my man. This is my guy. I'm telling y'all, I, I, this is my guy right here, Stephen Colby. When I tell y'all, this book helped me out a lot as far as my growth. Um, and Back to Basic um, Investing by Eric Tyson. All right, y'all. Talk to y'all next week.